uh, another morning, another Esquire Vlogs. It's about seven o'clock. The weather is uh, somewhat overcast. Quite cold, actually. It's about 17, which is, you know, enough to kind of make your bones shiver as far as Dubai goes. But none of that really matters because today we're heading down to the Bugatti showroom to drive the, the ultimate driving machine, to drive the Chiron. We've set off now. The Chiron is riding in front of us. Somebody else, another journalist, is driving that at the moment, and I have the pleasure of riding shotgun in a, in a 2017 Bentley Flying Spur. Looks pretty comfortable in here, you know. So we're here at the um, at the hilly bit of the. Um, drive up to Jabal Hafid and Andy Wallace, the British Le Mans winner, is going to be our uh, co-pilot for the day. So he's going to be taking me for a ride up these uh, windy roads and then he's going to let me have a little drive in the Chiron, which is going to be great. So we're here with um, Andy Wallace, about to um, start our drive to where are we heading? Andy? We're going to go to Jebel Hafid, the mountain road. Yeah. Um, we're just going to tank up when we get there, so we've got plenty of fuel to blast up and down until our hearts are content. Yeah. Well, sounds good. All right. So I won't be uh, filming while driving, but I'll uh, clue you guys in once we get to Jebel Hafid. After a great drive from the first bit of driving we did, now we are at Jebel Hafid. This is a lovely windy mountain road. I'm going to show you guys what we're talking about, what kind of windy roads we're talking about. So that is um, the UAE's answer to the Nürburgring, for sure. Going down Jebel Hafid, the uh, would you be uh, surprised? The uh, camera is actually Andy Wallace, which we don't get every day. So I, I apologise in, in advance for my <laughs> shaky camera work. So this is a 1,600 horsepower Chiron. Well, what I'll do is I'll correct your mistake first okay, of all. Right. It's, um, it's 1,600 newton meters of torque right. um, from 2,000 to 6,000 RPM. It's 1,500 horsepower at 6,700 RPM. The car is capable of a top speed of 420, and that's a, a artificially electronically limited top speed. The car would go considerably more than that, but we, we limit the speed for safety. And obviously I'm, I'm well within the speed limit right now, as, as one should be. <laughs> and there's the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> Body roll. There's no body roll. It's steady as a rock. Uh, the speed is phenomenal. Even kind of when we were driving it up, the turbos just kick in and the seamless acceleration just keeps on going and going. I mean, there is, um, you know, fantastic, phenomenal, unbelievable. And the words are just not enough to kind of describe this car. But yeah, what a privilege it is to be driving, and what a privilege it is to enjoy this day with Andy uh, by my side, kind of, you know telling me what to do as I, uh, as a novice driver, driving down the windy roads of uh, Jebel Afid. Not a bad place to spend a day, really, No, not it? at all. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was a uh, great day. Just spent um, some time on Jebel Afit, and uh, now we're heading back to Dubai in our um, Bentley. Andy was telling me that um, they will only produce 500 of these vehicles at a rate of 70 per year. And Andy was actually telling me also that each car is driven up to 400 uh, kilometers before it's actually delivered to delivered to the client just to make sure that everything is in that the car is running they want to make sure that it is absolutely perfect because the starting price in Europe is two and a half million euros